here at the launch of BF5 Flare, the LGBT Film Festival, which is our new identity of what has been for many years the BF5 London Lesbian and Gay Film Festival. In 1986, I would never have imagined that the words lesbian and gay attached to a film festival could be seen as old hat, old fashioned or conservative. But in 2014, they are. BFI Flare was a name we selected because it was something that allows the festival to represent the diversity of our program and our audience. It, it comes with all of the associations of light, of, of projection, of, of being some kind of beacon, um, but it also quite literally means the idea of moving outward. BFI Flare also becomes a brand that we're going to use in venue for a monthly screening program and also on the BFI Player for a branded channel, BFI Flare, which is going to screen the best of LGBT cinema. In my life I've been called a pansy, a fruit, a queer, names are important. So we're opening with the European premiere of um, Hong Kao's wonderful film Lilting. Ben Wishaw plays a young man who has lost his lover and befriends the mother of his uh, deceased partner. It's an incredibly sensitive story, it's beautifully told and we're thrilled that Hong and Dom, the film's producer, have entrusted us with its premiere. This is for you. It's Kai's ashes. This is Kai's ashes. He has your name. You should have his ashes. I'm sorry that I fought over them with you. I think cinema is one of the most accessible forms of communication that we have. It's providing a way to share stories and then to be able to experience them all together in a cinema, that's just wonderful. I'm looking forward to the festival, I always do. It's an important part of my queer year. Always a fascinating space, apart from the films. It's a fascinating space to see the whole of the LGBT community. As someone who grew up in the 60s and the 70s, that's an amazing thing. I often used to refer to the festival as Gay Christmas because it's this thing that pops up once a year and is this beacon for everybody in the community to come together and I feel like Flare signals a kind of beacon, which is part of the function of this festival. Cinema, it, it saves people's lives when you're a lonely gay kid on your own somewhere. So do I call you dad now? Mm. Whatever you're comfortable with, I suppose. 52 Tuesdays, the film that's closing BFI Flare is a wonderful film and actually goes straight to the heart of our name change because this is a story about transitioning gender, about a teenage girl who is responding to her mother who is transitioning to become a man. Eat with the chopsticks and eat things. It tastes better. Dad. It's rude. Billy. I think cinema's had a very major role, making queer life accessible to our straight brothers and sisters and mothers and fathers. It's all about communication, because without communication there can't be friendship and love. 